What's up guys, Skull Crusher here. I got my uh, truck here at Roberts at Off-Road Ready. I'm gonna be finishing it up over here. Uh, my tire's flat. It goes flat after about two weeks of just sitting there. These tires are old, man. They're probably about four years old, but they still work for off-road and they're grooved. And I got this little super flow thing from four, uh, four World Parts. Uh, it's Roberts. We're gonna see how it works about airing up a uh, flat 39 and a half inch tail sail. All right, man, check it out. I had to jack it up more <clears throat> to get the weight, the axle weight off of the the tires. Man, I almost used all the whole high lift jack, and that's a I think that's a 60 something one inch high lift jack. Uh, I think there's air going to the tire now. Let me look at it real quick. I had to lift it all the way, get the weight off the tire, and then air it up. I'm gonna get it to about 20, about 25, and then we'll let it stop. I don't know, it looks like it's flexing pretty good. Brake line's done. I'm gonna make a couple little brackets for it. Uh, it's working. Jakes, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Hey. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good girl. This is my dog, Jakes and Lexi. They love coming out here. <clears throat> Get to explore and run around all day. They got a creek behind us. They go and take a swim in the creek.
What's up guys? I just want to give you a little view of the underside of the truck. I got it up on the lift at off-road ready. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I got the front drive shafts taken off. I got to move the axle forward still about an inch and a half. And then I got to cut, either cut this drive shaft or another drive shaft I have the right lengths. And then uh, I got a front drive shaft. Uh, I also got to mess with the, the rear drive shaft. You look at it right here. There we go. Yeah, it's only about an inch and a half, maybe two inches inside there. Uh, I got to lengthen the rear drive shaft also. Uh, the rear setup looking pretty good. Got it all done. Give you a rear view. Got the brake lines run. I need to make a better tab for up top, and I do need to bolt this part on. Uh, for shocks, I'm still debating if I'm going to use what I used before, which is this bar going across right here, or if I'm going to actually make something. I still got to do bottom shock tabs. Haven't done that, and I still got to run a a breather hose for it and here's my stock one I used to have in there I need to try to put that in there but it's kind of old I might as well replace it this is the bottom this is normally where the bottom of the gas tanks are on the K5 blazers I have a fuel cell and I have you can see where they cut a hole where they used to because it was originally TBI they cut a hole to get to the pumps easier Up front, I got my uh, crossover steering bolted up. And I'm gonna have to mount the <clears throat> ram assist pretty soon. Uh, just debating how I wanna do it. I'll make a video of, it, of that. On other, on other note, while driving off the trailer I had the ram on top of, of the, the truss and it bent the bottom of my oil pan it's not rubbing anything but it bent it pretty good I'm probably gonna unbolt it bend, bang it back out make sure it's not run, uh, rubbing on the crankshaft or any of the rods uh, I don't hear nothing so that's a good thing and I'm about to do an oil change hopefully I didn't mess up anything right there uh, that was just from driving off of the trailer and it bounced it hit it bottomed out and it hit the bottom of the oil pan. So that's a bummer.